Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have found potentially the next pattern that's going to play out in a matter of hours here which will decide in which direction Bitcoin is going to move and of course I have also prepared a lot of other charts that we have to go through here today so definitely stick around here especially if you're new to the channel then please subscribe like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these really really important updates as I publish them and now let's get directly into the charts so we're gonna uh, start here with the boring part uh, which is still that range that Bitcoin is respecting here where we are bouncing up and down between uh, 22,170 and 22,470 so we you can see that Bitcoin is trying to come up here to test this um, resistance level and to break above that but for now we only saw rejections from there back into that range here and also on the stochastic RSI we can see that we are coming here close to the top of it into overbought conditions where we see a, a potential rollover um, and the momentum shift which would of course then put sell pressure on Bitcoin then we go all the way down to that range um, of um, the bottom of that range and potentially break through that and go lower when we move then here uh, to this for hourly chart we can also clearly see that the bears are still on control here on the VPVR the point of control is $22,950 approximately we see that by this long volume bar so and as long as the bulls cannot reclaim that uh, we will re remain in this uh, downtrend and also on the EMA ribbons we see that we are clearly uh, getting held down uh, by the bottom of the EMA ribbon and also here the bulls are struggling to break back into that ribbon and to flip back into an uptrend so when we are going then here to this for hourly chart so here we see where the potential next move for Bitcoin lies and that is this diamond pattern so and by textbook definition a diamond pattern especially when we come uh, out of a downwards move we should see continuation to the downside so and if we go and measure that here from top to bottom that will give us a price target uh, to a, the potential breakout point and you see we get really close to the Fibonacci retracement level to 0.618 and 0.65 so here we see a target of $21,900 approximately and we should see potentially in the next candle that's opening in a minute um, no sorry in an hour um, or in the uh, afterwards in the in the next candle we should definitely see a move here either that we break out to the upside and then validate that um, diamond pattern or that we see a move to the downside and confirm that diamond pattern and go all the way down to the target here where I believe that we definitely go all the way down to this uh, Fibonacci retracement level at 21,716 and 21,800 and 41 so of course if you want to short that uh, let's say here from the breakout point at a 0 0.5 so then this would be kind of like this so that would be the trade that I would be taken uh, so here you see risk to reward is uh, 5.8 1 to 5.8 so almost 6 1 to 6 so uh, the probability that we're gonna um, reach this target here uh, is six times higher than uh, that we would break to the upside so and that's why it would be worth taking this small uh, short position here but of course that would be again only a scalp trade uh, you would make you three percent without leverage so if you put that 10 percent leverage on you would make approximately 30 percent with 20x leverage you would make approximately 60 percent so and um, with a risk of uh, 0 0.5 percent losing so of course 20x leverage 10 percent and um with a 10x leverage only 5% so you see the risk outweighs um, sorry the reward outweighs the uh, risk so and that's why it would be worth taking the trade once we are breaking down here so in the entry would be of course here 22,370 that's where I expect the price starting uh, to break down from uh, especially also when you look at the volume the volume is overall declining and that is also uh, a sign that we should see at some point a violent move here for Bitcoin when we look at the higher time frames uh, however uh, let me have a look here where did I have that chart here so then and let me pull out the stochastic RSI 
So then we can clearly see that on the daily, we should uh, soon see a move back to the upside because we are already in uh, oversold conditions here on the stochastic RSI and about to getting today a buy signal and we are trading here in a falling wedge that has of course a high probability to break here back to the upside and to go back to the highs because there's the target uh, of $25,280. So, but we could also continue for another day or two to bounce here up and down. So and if that would be the case and we bounce down here, that would bring us again to the Fibonacci retracement level that I have just shown you on the four hourly chart. So and that's why uh, I'm still cautious here uh, to take a long position because I want to see first how the next couple of days are playing out uh, for Bitcoin at least the next uh, day or two before I would decide to take a long position because the probability that we get here to 21,800 or even 700 is quite high. Uh, that would be then my entry for uh, my next long position. And guys, of course, don't forget, if you want to trade with me together, do it on Bybit. There you still get $30,000 absolutely for free for signing up here with my specific link or on BitGet $20,000 also only with that specific link. The links are in the pinned comment below and in the description below. So when we go then back to this four hourly chart, also here we can see Bitcoin is uh, still uh, respecting this downwards trend here, this downwards trend line. So here it was resistance with a fake out, here it was resistance with a fake out, then we flipped it into support. And then here at the end with that uh, crazy move to the downside again into resistance and we did not even come close to it uh, in the meantime and bouncing off the support and the, un the underlying support at $22,070. And of course, at some point, if we continue to move here sideways, by uh, yeah, the next three days we will get uh, here again close to that resistance if we maintain this boring sideways movement and then Bitcoin has to make a decision either to break it to the upside or go here into liquidity into uh, the support um, range that we have uh, underlying right now and um, from there, we can ten, then, as I already said, take our long positions back to the upside. But for now, I'm definitely watching closely what's happening here with the diamond pattern and uh, taking a potential trade if uh, it breaks here to the downside. So if it for some reason breaks to the upside, which is also a possibility, uh, then the upwards target would be $23,000 approximately. So, but I, like I said, I believe right now that is highly unlikely and I would only enter uh, into a long position here if that would be volume supported and would break this downwards trend here um, on the downward sloping resistance line that we see here in the volume right now. Guys, that is, uh, that's already it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and I'll see you then again tomorrow.